Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, in our last session, we uh, learned about the rank, dense rank and row number, how they behave and, uh, and also uh, how we can find the max salary and everything. Okay, we discussed in our previous video. Okay, so if you haven't watched that video, I uh, strongly recommend to watch that video guys. Okay, so in this, in this class, okay, in this video, we are going to learn about the, how to remove the duplicates. Okay, how to remove the duplicates. Okay. For now, I'm going to create a employee table with the columns of ID, name, country, and then I'm inserting some data and then selecting the data case, okay? So just, okay. So here, if you look at this uh, records, okay, one, one, AA and country name, okay? So this is the duplicate and these are three times duplicates. And again, here is the two times duplicate, okay? I want only unique records from this table. Okay, I don't. I don't want the duplicates. Okay, I want to remove the duplicates. Okay, uh, for now I am going to explain two ways. Guys, okay, with one is with the CTE and another one with the derived table. Okay, so for that guys, okay, if you go and uh, if you select this table, okay, so just I am writing the columns. Okay, ID, name, and country. Okay, so row number, I have explained very clearly row number in our previous session. Okay, if you haven't watched that video, okay, row number, dense rank and rank, I have explained very clearly. Okay, you can go and watch that uh, video base. Okay, so row number and over partition by ID name, uh, I'm partitioning ID by name and order by ID, okay, as a duplicate. Okay, this is one column. Okay, I'm making, I'm making this as a column. Okay, so you may get the question, okay. So here, okay, if you execute this, it's giving the rank, right? So, okay, it's giving the rank. Okay, you can use this only row number and then you can use it in a where class and then uh, you can um, delete from here only, right? Instead of select, you can delete from here only, okay? Use row number where count is equal to one, okay? So if you try to execute this case, okay? If you try to, okay, I want only. So Windows function, you cannot use, okay? You cannot use in a where class, it can appear only in the selection selection statement so that is the reason okay we cannot select our okay we cannot use that in a where class okay we cannot use that in a where class so that is the reason we making this as a temporary purpose okay we making this uh, as a table okay this we making this as a table for temporary result set okay and then i am using with the cte okay so cte syntax okay with cte okay with cte and then so you can have a columns, okay, if you want ID, comma, name, comma, uh, country, okay, country, and something like, okay, country, and then row number, okay. So these are the syntax, okay, you can specify the column names, that is optional, okay, if you want to specify, you can specify, and uh, CT, always CT start, okay, with, with the class and then CT name, okay. Whatever the name you want to write, it's your okay, it's your wish. Okay. So duplicate something like okay, duplicate count something you can write. Okay. So it's your wish. Okay. For now, I'm going with the CTE name as a CTE. And then okay, so we'll discuss in detail okay about the CTE case. Okay. So for now, I'm going to select. Okay, I don't want to delete now. For now, I'm going to select uh, select star from okay. So select star. Okay, star means columns. Okay. From CTE. Okay. CTE you are creating there. Okay. From CTE where duplicate uh, count is equal to one. Okay, I want to see the unique records, okay? You can go and then you can see, if you want to select, okay? If you don't want to delete the duplicates, okay? If you want to see only unique records, these are the unique records, okay? After deletion, you can see that, uh, okay? So, unique records, okay? So, for now, I'm going to delete, okay? So, delete uh, duplicates count where greater than, where duplicate count greater than one. Okay, if you do that, okay? It will execute perfectly. Okay, just execute. Click on execute. It execute perfectly. And then, so if you go here and then select uh, the data, okay, so you can see only three records. Okay, see these are the three records. Okay, so this is two time and this is three time and this is one time. Okay, so if you take only unique records, only three records will come. Okay, so this is a one way. Okay, by using CT is a one way. And uh, so you have one more option with the C derived table also. So let me drop the table again. Okay. Let me drop the table again. Okay. So I'm dropping the table and creating a table one more time and then inserting the data and selecting the data case. Okay. Just selecting the data. Okay. So again, I have created the same table for now. I'm going to delete the duplicates by using, by using derived table. Okay. 
so derived table means okay it's also same like a cte okay it will also create the temp table okay so but there is a lot of difference between uh, derived table and uh, cte that we will discuss in uh, later session in great detail so okay we will discuss that okay this is the temporary result sets you can use okay um, delete okay delete uh, duplicate count from okay so this uh, as we are making this as a temporary result set the, the table name as duplicate count where count greater than or equal to if you use, if you use equal to it will select okay just if you equal to okay you can use uh, select okay you can use select star okay you can use select star it will okay this is the derived table case okay it select only unique records okay how we selected for cte the same way we can select this one okay if you want to delete the duplicates okay you have to write a delete command delete okay so this do count okay so this do count here and then okay so count greater than one okay so whatever the count will have greater than one so it's deleted okay then you can go and select a, a table now so you have only unique records now okay these are the two ways okay so there are so many ways case okay there is a sub query we can use and temporary tables we can use okay sub query temporary tables okay when we learn the sub queries okay that time we will see how to remove the duplicates by using sub query also okay hope you like the video please uh, share and subscribe my video guys okay uh, for more details okay for more uh, videos okay thank you thanks okay have a great day guys